Somebody on YouTube asked me what I thought of the VR market. Ah, sorry, can't tag you back in this, um, but yeah. So here, let me let me let me give you a little breakdown, a little perspective. Uh, at some point, I should do the kind of how I got to where I got in VR. This is kind of well, maybe interesting, or maybe not. But uh, where we are now today is some of because of that original stuff, and that is when we announced the HEC Vive at Mobile World Congress and GDC. That caught Facebook slash Oculus off guard. Now, Facebook had already come in and spent $2 billion on Oculus. When that happened, Gabe's like, they're going to distort the market. That's way too much money. That's not what Oculus is actually worth. They're just going to buy their way into this, and that's going to break a lot of things. He was 100% right. Because what we saw then, when we, I mean, so they do that, and nine months later, Valve releases the HTC Vive, or Valve HTC, right? Um, and that's how quick we worked on that, like insanely fast on that. You want to talk about crunch? You want to talk about never being home? There you go. That's how you do that. Nine months. It's not me. It was super talented engineers, super smart uh, people. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. But that's how we got there, right? Like it just moved so fast and so quickly. It caught them off guard. And so then when we're off at some event and talking to devs and we're giving them kits and supporting them that way, the only thing Facebook could offer is money. And so they would offer them money, right? And so then they would be paying them a million dollars to make a $300,000 game, which makes no financial sense because that $300,000 game is going to sell 500000 or maybe 300000 right? And no one's ever making their money back. And so Oculus slash Facebook just came in, distorted the market. We still live in that distorted market because what they've done now is they've bought more studios. They've invested more money and it continued to be this thing where they distort the market where if you wanted to just start up on your own and get you know some of you and your buddies together and you're going to make a game or experience you aren't competing with people who have to look at a budget and go hey how much money will this game make i need to get it back how do i do that it's by this distorted market now to Facebook's credit, the Quest 3 is a great piece of hardware, right? Like they've moved the hardware forward. They've simplified a bunch of things. Um, it's always something I was concerned about because um, I'm not a nerd and the complexity of all of it was really hard for me. So like they on the developer side have distorted this market. And so it scares a lot of people away out of it. Now, Apple's coming back in and saying, hey, we're going to be in this market too. But they're really in it in a big different way. And I'll get to that in a sec. So I, does, dev wise, I don't think people are equally excited for what they were making because what happened during this, you know, Facebook distorting the market was we found the real demand side of it. And the demand side of it is most people get sick in VR. Not good VR that purposely avoids people getting sick like the blue and, you know, tilt brush and those kind of experiences, but a lot of the other stuff. And then what happened was, well, Facebook's like, well, we're not going to make that kind of stuff at first. And I think they do now. But they're like, we're going to make this other kind of experience, you know, and, and, and good for them on that. But by funding that and building that up, they left us opening for things, you know, that you see out in the market now that will just get me sick as a dog playing it. Um, and people rightly decided, well, I can make inside of this space because they're not, excuse me, they're not competing inside of this space and this is where we can live. Now, someone's going to come in this comments and go, oh, you get sick, but most people don't get sick. No, most people do. Most people do. If you run into somebody who's in the VR who says, well, you just, you just got to stick through it and you're going to, you're going to be fine, you know, in a, in a couple of days, in a couple of hours. No, 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 no. There's a whole group of people, most people, who cannot play the stuff that you can play. And you cannot get people to understand that. And I've gotten beat up when I have said there's no such thing as VR legs. But there's not. There's certain people, most people who will never be able to play VR stuff that it has motion where you you have competing input in, of what you think's happening and what's really happening. It will get people sick, full stop. I think I'm not even gonna argue that anymore, right? So come into the comments, I, whatever. Uh, but watch, you, you'll see, you'll see, it, it, they'll come. Um, but they've destroyed the market in a way, right? Because what happens is they introduce people to VR and they get people sick and people buy the Quest or they buy, you know, the HTC Vive or they buy the Sony headset. And then they put it in the closet and never take it out. Because uh, if you put something on your head or if you do something and it gets you so sick 
that you can't do anything the rest of the day, you don't do that anymore unless it's alcohol, then you keep doing it. Um, but right, like you just don't. And so people will have these zealots come in and get them to try experiences that get them sick and then they put away their VR. Now there may be like one person of the family of 10 who like, hey, yeah, this is awesome. But the other nine are like, yeah, I'm never gonna use VR. And so it kind of camped the demand of VR and that became a problem space, right? Because a lot of people, myself included, will rarely try unknown games or experiences in VR because I have been bit way too many times. So you have that. So the market's kind of depressed of the demand side because of a lot of things going on, but it's also on the supply side it's distorted of what people are making versus the value of what they're going to get back. So then I say, you know, Apple coming, right? Oh my God, that's going to change everything. Except, you know, Apple doesn't have controllers and they're purposely trying to do more ARE stuff. And I'll tell you what, nobody really cares about going bang, bang, bang on stuff that's on their own walls. It's not exciting that it's on their own walls. Like that, the novelty of that goes quickly. We saw that with um, Magic Leap. Uh, having no controllers means you can't pull a, you can't pull an arrow. You can't swing a sword. Uh, you can't do a whole bunch of activities that need the out of vision um, controls, right? And so that is really limiting what they're gonna make. Apple's always hated games. I think this is just another thing of them hating games. So I'm just not excited about it. I also don't think, I don't think they're that serious about this. I think they wanna test the waters and see, and then this may just go away or maybe not, I don't know. Now someone's gonna get in my comments now and yell at me that Apple just always just releases stuff bad and then it just gets better and then it's the greatest thing ever. Sure. And boy, all right. Use iTunes on the Windows, huh? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, right, so the market is in such a weird state. So now my hope, my hope is all of these things happen where Facebook's kind of left the excitement over it. And I think they're still funding a lot of stuff, but they're, you know, they're not the focus anymore. Apple introduces this, more people get to this, hey, this would be a good idea if. And in five to 10 years, we kind of sort this out. We have a real market that can, can support a variety of things. But I think it's far out. I don't think it's, I don't think it's real quick. Like, I mean, we went from zero to 60 so fast to take that first step that everybody projected out like, oh my God, these are steps are going to come every year. And now we're, you know, what, seven, eight years later and we've, we've barely moved. And that's because those breakthroughs just don't keep happening. The breakthrough was that initial moment. Um, everything after that is, is less breakthrough-y. Um, and so we see it's kind of slowing. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not exciting right now. I don't want to develop in it yet again um but i still look at stuff play stuff occasionally uh so friends developing in it still making cool stuff pistol whip it's a great exercise uh it really is like the best exercise piece of hardware except that you do get sweaty in it in a weird way with my face stuff now it's been problematic but yeah yeah whatever oh uh, but so yeah there we are there we are uh, i think that answered it